Good afternoon, everyone. It is approximately quarter after 2 p.m. EST here on the East Coast U.S. So, as my title says, please give in to the masses. Thank you for showing up, Poggy, my secret lover. I ain't gonna tell nobody, bro. You don't tell nobody. And, uh, let's just hop right into it. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. We are in the game of WR. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you all this. I made champs with all MK1. Not in the era of MK1. I was the average dude. I was doing pretty good. Not in the era of MK2 when that even came out. I made champs with all MK1 in the era of MK3. Alright, all my forumites can attest to this and swear to my word. I swear to God, every last one of them will attest to this. Now, look at my ranking now. Because of the matchmaking and everything else, I'm an expert one barely. I'm getting ready to go down to expert two. Okay, 48% win rate. Of course, I should be going down at 48%. But I'm facing the top players in the game. And that's crazy. I play another game. I'm facing the top players in the game. But this is not the issue. The issue is this right here. Now, I'm going to expose my whole hanger to everyone. I do not care. You know what I mean? Uh, here's what I'm going to explain to you. Is this. None of this stuff was MK2 or high level or anything. I still don't have a 150 level Titan. None of my Titans are that. I don't even have a level 50 weapon. Level 25 weapon. So... 12 is probably halfway there. That's 24. So, but I've been leveling everything. And I've been playing this game since 2016. Okay? Whether you pan or not pan or nothing like that, it's like Pixonic does, it just ignores what we say. You have a good concept. And even we suggest concepts to Pixonic and they accept it. See, I'm not sponsored by Pixonic. I can say whatever the hell I want. You know what I mean? And here's the thing. Pixonic decides to get greedy over everything. And this is why the game is losing money and losing players. Because you're being greedy for the instant cash instead of the long-term money. Okay? You're going to kill the game. And then they only capitulate to the players when the game is about ready to die. No, listen to the players the whole way along. Don't make one move one way or the other. But start developing along each train. And then when that happens, let's take my second hanger. All right, this is more TDM for me. I had, I do have one of the new weapons or whatever. But Pixonic's model of introducing something that is OP instead of being different is a big, big problem. And the problem also that you have to unlock level 9 to unlock the mod slots on your bots and that all bots... Do not have all kinds of mod slots is insane. Every last bot should have three mod slots to put whatever mod they want on it. And then you balance the bot from there. Or you balance the mod if that if it, that mod. See, because they can count the numbers on the servers. If a mod is showing too much power, then you did reduce the mod. You know? And that's what I'm trying to show y'all right quick. I'm sorry I get so heated, man. Because here's the thing. 
I love everybody, and I love to have fair competition. I'd love to throw a Leo in a champ, champ game, but I can't. It's got one my slot, one, one single my slot. I don't care if it's a silver pot. I don't care what it is, man. I'm going to show you my hangers. But I'm going to show you what I don't have in my hangers. Which is what a lot of people want to do. So I'm going to scroll through all this stuff. Yeah, I got MK2 stuff here, there, and the third. But that came last. I leveled my mods first. Okay? And that's my advice to anybody. The moment you land a good golden mod on the on a thing. And here's the other thing, Pixonic. You need to take people's advices and and then and then take a look at it yourself. Without monetization, uh, it you need to look at it in the view of longevity of the game. So therefore, that is a monetization. You will get more money. If the game can last longer. I hate games that were very good and died because the company got too greedy. It would not listen to their player base. The player base is telling you what they want, but you only listen to the whales. Now, premium. As far as premium goes here, Premium means nothing once you hit level 30. It means nothing. My suggestion is this. All the SE stuff, Freedom Mace, Freedom Cudgel, right? The Freedom, the SE stuff should be available for your whales and all that stuff to buy. To buy they should be able to buy the se edition and i agree that the se i said this from the door here's why no one leveled se stuff is besides for aesthetics to match their bot they did the same damage se from way back in the day should have always done more damage but you should allow it to buy for your premium players okay and for those who are not premium then the win rates should still be higher than what they are now. The components, everything, everyone complains about this. Even premium players, everyone complains. You're not getting nothing. You're getting the same cudgel and the same freedom ace, you know, components. This is BS, man. Give the free players a chance to win the SE editions that are higher damage. All right, so they can still hang in there here and there, but give the premium players your wells a chance to even just go out and buy them because even the wells are getting pissed off because they're winning 250 components, bro. You should not be winning 250 components of a normal weapon, okay? So that leaves the, the free to play base. A chance to get something super, you know, or Uber, however you want to talk about it. Now, I like the fact that no, you should keep this in mind. Picks on it are not total DICKSs because I'm still early in my stream, so I can't, I, you can't say stuff, uh, or they'll cancel the whole stream. Now, they still give free-to-play players a chance to win the same stuff as premium players, okay? But in all actuality here, let's go look at the premium after I get to going through my hanger. Now, you know people like me have worked stuff like this up. This is crazy that I, I don't have a special pilot when another bot has like four pilots. That is ridiculous. And this is ridiculous here. The fact that when I go to my modules, the bot is less expired and everything than the other bot. Naturally uh, aspired. Aspired, not inspired, aspired. It means it's naturally more talented. And I only get two units? This is ridiculous. Every last bot 
in the game should have the same amount of everything. Okay, so people, this will cause more diversity and it will cause people to invest in what they want to invest in. And then if the other bot is different, but fairly equal, then someone else will, you know, spend the money on it because that's their style. What Pixonic does is they put it on the uh, server, test server, underpowered. Then they put it on well balanced, right? And then a lot of people love it. So when they vote yes, and then Pixonic releases it overpowered. That is BS, bro. And the thing about it is you should need to know that when you have an SE over something, you know, and there's no SE hover. Why ain't there, why ain't there no SE hover? Here's the things that I'm talking about. Here's what upsets me in a game that I love and I've loved for years. All the games that are people are leaving War Robots for, I left them games for War Robots. This is what pisses me off. So I have a leech, but I have a SE leech. But I still have it because I, I like to keep one addition to everything. I have a Kepri. I have a SE Kepri. Loki, Revenant, Siren. And you can see the different levels that I took them to. Nightingale to level 9. But I have a SE Siren now that is level 9. Kitsune Harpy. I do have a normal Harpy back somewhere. I have the Freedom Skyros. I have the normal Skyros. I have the Typhoon. And it's only level 1 because I only finished my Typhoon after I won an SE Typhoon. And this is what I'm saying about free-to-play players. They should be able to win that stuff, but your premium players should be able to buy them outright, whether they want an SE or regular edition or whatever. The same way the, the MK2 sales are coming up now, the different level sales are coming up now on the different levels on the bots and stuff. I suggested that way back in 2017. It's 2023, and y'all just started doing it. At the end of 2022. This is ridiculous. Rajan. There's still no SE Rajan. There's still no SE Erebus. There are plenty of SE shells. See, and it's like they show love to certain bots. That they think they can get a lot of sales off of. There should always be an SE of every edition bot. Because of the fact that a lover of that vehicle will drive that vehicle all the way to the top of champs now mind you i said i hit champs with all mk1 i did not hit the top of champs no no legendary league or nothing like that you know but a lot of people love the bully but there's no se bully you have a plus five paint and i agree with the plus five paints and all this and that but i think for every bot if you think a plus five paint will make it under overpowered then it needs to be plus five for a different stat. That's another thing. We only have plus five health paints. We need paints for several different things. Same thing with the Ravana. I, I stopped loving that seven. I have a SE Ravana. Carnage is my favorite bot in the whole game. Because that's the love of my life. That's the first bot where I really start getting payback on people if they killed my other bot. I come out with my Carnage and yeah, it was over. There's no SE Carnage. Carnage stats are not that good. Carnage doesn't even get like, okay. It gets one passive and one regular. That's it. No three mod slots, no nothing. That's why you don't see diversity in the game. That's why when you come in, you see three Capri Spears from the door. I have Freedom Fafnir. Scorpion, but I'm using my SC Scorpion now. Hellburner. Out of the, out of out of here. There's no SC Hellburner, but they finally did give it a pilot. Solid Jaeger. That's a SC Corrupted Fafnir. Eldritch Ares. New pilot for Ares out. By the way, you all saw my Freedom Skyros earlier. That's why I didn't level this one further. My Kumiho. This was one of my favorite bots. But then, look at the new Dasher. That thing is out of control. 
That thing is out of control. The new the new dasher. For two slots, it should have more aspired. Your your bot should be higher aspired. It means the way that it's built. The bot should be built a lot better for the lesser weapons that it can 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 contribute. So a bot sitting here, the Camille, which is a good bot, good idea. How often is it being used? How often do you see a Camille? There's no SE Camille. There's no Camille pilot. You know, I agree with the weapon specific pilots, but every last bot should come out with a SE pilot. Should come out with a legendary pilot. <coughs> My Inky, still level five. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I get upset about this stuff, man. And then if you if you do every bot like that, then you could actually balance the game. But Pixonic loves imbalance because they get these big chunks of cash when something is unbalanced. But here's the thing: you get them big chunks of cash. And then you get a bunch of quitters right after. Let the game grow by giving every bot everything it's supposed to have. Now they worked on the Strider and the Hachi. The Hachi is hardly ever really seen because Hachi actually needs two shields. You know, this at level 6 is only has 98,000. But it's third tier. That is total BS. At 41 speed. At the speeds that you're creating these bots at. You have a highly. Okay let me say something. Let me say something here. We can look at these two right here. Right now. Hey Bon Bon. Ren. Everybody. DQ. I got your carnage right here too baby. I'm not sure if your carnage will beat my carnage man. My carnage is all A N. Okay. The Hachi. Now, granted, it has a bubble shield, but this bubble shield is large, meaning it get hit by a lot of stuff. It should have a smaller Aegis beneath that. Okay? Because you have a highly, highly. And this is at a lower level. It's only two speed lower than that. If I level this two, to, it's faster than the Hachi, even with its dashes. Okay? And the health pool is high with shields everywhere. On the Dread Shield. On the Dread Shell. I have an Al June. I have a special Al June. Al Guang. There's no SE Al Guang. The one out of them three I'm most disappointed in, man, is the, um,. S-E, there's no S-E, but um, it's the third dragon. Right here, Alkin. You will see a lot more Alkins, but you got one slot. One. It, but at least you have an active, because you have bots that do not even have an active. And see, that's the thing. And then you expect people for to jump that play gap from with nothing, no nothings on the bots to be able to use, to using everything. If you spend all this money. So I think that's ridiculous. The ROG. The ROG is legendary. And it doesn't even have an SE or a, a legendary pilot. A legendary bot should have a legendary pilot. Here's two legendary bots that I could put up right here, right now. Ragaka and Fu Fujin. Both of them are legendary. The Fujin is legendary. The ROG is legendary. But they don't have a single legendary pilot. Where did these legendary pilots come from if they didn't start on the Regatka and Fusion? Okay? There's an SE boat. But there ain't no SE Fusion and Regatka. And it's a new bot. How do you have a legendary pilot for a bot? Right? That started way before the pilot was even born. Okay, so the pilot had to start somewhere. So how are there not legendary pilots? How are there not legendary pilots for the Leo 
How many people have used a Leo over the years? And Leo's still going strong. This is ridiculous, man. Stay with your story narrative and make make the game true and make the game better. This is one reason why people are fleeing the game. And then the great drone theft. I gotta I gotta bring that up in a minute. This was one of the best ideas they ever had. The gift bringer Fenrir. Okay? They made a SE edition just for nobody who got in on certain events. I agree with like keeping uh certain additions stuck to certain events so that they if you really want that event then you got to be playing it next year during that same time period to make it to a certain event the gift bringer fan rare is a monster it's the same as any other se uh fan rare but you can only get that during seasonal stuff i had like three of them i only need one So during special events, you can give everybody a chance to win it, but anybody that's subscribed, meaning a premium player, should have the option of being able to buy it. That's what I'm saying. So that way you can still get all the income you want because you got guys that want to spend money, but they don't want to grind. But then you got guys that want to grind because they don't want to spend money. And this keeps the servers full. Plenty of games do this stuff. Pixonic, Destrier. There's no SE Destrier. You know, everybody wants, somebody might want a SE of their Destrier. You know, but there is none. There's no LE uh, Legendary Pilot because you got somebody who, who do you think trains the trainees on the Destrier? This is what I'm saying. There's no logic behind what they're saying. You think a new pilot trains pilots on Destrier? No. Somebody that's a monster in Destrier trains all the new pilots in Destrier so that they can survive and come back and then make their own pick on what they want to do further on in their career. So this is what I'm saying. Jesse, Vityaz, Galahad, Gepard, the Gareth, the Butch, the Fury. And I'm there's so many people that ran Furies. There's no... LE pilot, there's no legendary pilot, there's no SE version of the Fury, there's no plus five paints, there's no nothing. This is ridiculous. Hades, Doc. Now, I don't have quite everything, but you know, I've had them on different accounts over the years because I have to change platforms, I have to change accounts. That is so insane, picks on it. Because I play a game now where I can go from account to account to account uh, on different devices. You know? No, it's bad business, Boneless. It's bad business. So, thank you all for showing up. This is just my little rage rant. Love, peace, happiness. I hope you all uh, enjoyed the stream of my rant. And thank you all for sharing my stress. Because I love this game so much. But they 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 just they find ways to ruin it. So I would love to uh see you all out there on the battlefield. And you know I have no picks, but y'all know I play something else way more. Where I can switch account uh, to account to account to the same account. From device to device to device. Okay. Love. Peace. Happiness. I'll catch you all on the rebound.